Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video and in today's episode I'm going to be sharing with you guys some motivational hacks to help you to elevate your FE exam prep for 2024 success. Now we all know that the FE exam is getting harder each year but you really shouldn't worry about this. This video is all about inspiring you and showing you that yes you can pass the FE exam in 2025. Now, this video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. Now when you take the live online course, PPI guarantees that you're going to pass or you can take the on-demand course again for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere that you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all of the options available for FE exam prep. Now let's talk about the reality of preparing for the FE exam. Now it's not just about knowing the content, it's also about tackling the stress and managing your time effectively. Many students feel overwhelmed by the sheer volume of material that they need to cover, and that stress could be a huge barrier to success. Plus balancing study time with work, school, and life can sometimes feel impossible. You might find yourself procrastinating or worse, doubting your abilities. Now trust me, these challenges are common, but they can be overcome. Here's how you'll set yourself up for real progress. Hack number one, set smart goals. Setting smart goals is essential to effective FE exam prep. Now let's break down what this means. A smart goal is one that is specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and also time bound. Let's explore how you can be smart with your goals for the FE exam prep. Number one, specific. Now you want to focus on the FE exam that's right for you, like the FE mechanical or the FE civil, and you want to define a clear goal for the score that you're aiming for. Look up the average passing score and set a target that challenges you but doesn't overwhelm you. Next, you want to be measurable. You want to track your progress consistently. For example, you want to try solving 20 practice problems from different sections each week, attend review sessions, and also analyze those mistakes that you're making on mock exams to get better insight into your weak areas. Next, you want to be attainable. Be realistic and consider how much time you have each week to study and avoid setting goals that feel impossible for you to reach. Aim to challenge yourself but stay within your limits. Next is being relevant. You want to make sure that your study goals align with your career aspirations and the expectations of your future employers. Knowing that your efforts support your career path can make studying even more worthwhile. And lastly, you want to be time bound. You want to set deadlines to keep yourself on track. For example, set specific dates to complete practice problems on each topic. These small milestones can really build momentum for you moving forward. Hack number two, you want to build a positive structured study routine. Building a positive structured study routine can make a big difference. Now here are some tips for you that you can take from this video. Number one, you want to dedicate a study space for you. You want to create a quiet, organized area where you can study without any distractions. Good lighting and a comfortable setup make a long study session more productive. Next, you want to have a consistent schedule. You want to designate specific times each day or each week for study and then you want to stick to that. A regular schedule reinforces strong habits. Next, you want to mix it up. Variety is key. Now, you want to use different study methods like reading, practice problems, watching online lectures, and joining study groups to keep things engaging and reinforce what you learn. You also want to take breaks. You want to schedule five to 10 minute breaks every hour to stay focused and avoid burnout. Use that time to stretch or do something really relaxing for yourself. And then last, you want to reward yourself. You want to celebrate the little wins that you have, whether it's finishing a challenging problem set or sticking to your schedule, acknowledge your progress. 
Small rewards like a break or treat go a long way in keeping you motivated along that journey. Hack number three, you want to use visualization. Now, visualization is a powerful tool to boost your confidence and also stay motivated. You want to picture yourself acing the FE exam, feeling calm and prepared. Visualize the moment that you see your passing score and celebrate your hard work. Now, for extra motivation, create a vision board with affirmations, quotes, and images that remind you of your goals. You might even write out your name on a sticky note with the credential EIT after it and post it to your monitor so you're staring at it all day. This really helps with that extra motivation that you need to go to take that extra mile and pass this exam. Hack number four, you want to embrace a growth mindset. You want to believe in your ability to improve, even if it means making mistakes along the way. Each mistake teaches you something new. So instead of feeling discouraged, dig into what went wrong and make adjustments. Remember, it's okay to ask for help, whether it's from professors, tutors, or study groups. The more support you have, the better for you. Hack number five, you want to build your support system. Preparing for the FE exam can feel like a solo journey, but it really doesn't have to be. Look for forums or online communities for FE candidates where you can share your resources, your experiences, and also your advice. Form a study group with classmates or colleagues for accountability and support. And don't hesitate to reach out to mentors or professors for guidance on real world and insights. Connecting with others can provide you with valuable encouragement. Now remember, success on the FE exam isn't just about the time that you put in, it's about that consistent effort, staying positive and believing in your progress. Apply these motivational hacks and adapt them to fit your needs and make 2025 the year that you conquer the FE exam and step confidently into your engineering career. Now I hope that you all have found this week's video to be very helpful for you all. And in upcoming videos, we're gonna be answering more of your FE exam questions and run through some more of those practice problems for you all. Past the FE exam will publish videos like this weekly, so please be sure to click on that subscribe button as you're going to be getting expert tips and tricks including practice problems and solutions weekly to ensure that you pass that FE exam. And I encourage you all to ask questions in the comments that we're going to be reading and responding to in future videos. So if there's a specific topic that you want us to cover or a question that you want to have answered, pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. See you all next week.